In the state of Florida, there is something called alimony. Alimony exists uh, in Florida as well as several other states and in Georgia. And in both states, it's based on uh, the person requesting the alimony's need for said alimony and the other spouse's ability to pay said alimony. Alimony is a fancy word for support. Unlike child support, this is spousal support. This is designed to support that spouse seeking the award. And we call it an award, we call it support, but really it's designed to put that spouse in the same or similar position that he or she was during the actual marriage. In the state of Florida, there are two ways that a receiving spouse could collect alimony payments. Uh, the first way is through the state of Florida through what's called an income withholding or deduction order. This is something that actually the money comes straight from that paying spouse's check. This will either happen uh, weekly or bi-weekly or maybe even monthly, depends on how frequently that other person gets paid. The other way it could happen is through a direct payment. That direct payment could be a certain check that that spouse delivers to the, the receiving spouse once a month, or it could pay, you know, be a, be a Zelle or Apple Pay or any other electronic form of transfer. There are several factors that must be taken into account uh, by Florida courts for any alimony case. Uh, the first is gonna be the length of that marriage. If a, a couple has been married for more than 17 years, there's a presumption of permanent alimony for the what's called impotential Cuneus, which is a fancy word to say the non-moneyed spouse. So if the wife was the primary breadwinner and the husband was not throughout the 17 year marriage, that, that husband would have and would be the impecunious or non-moneyed spouse. And there would be a presumption during that 17 year marriage that that spouse would have permanent alimony for the rest of his life. The same would apply for a short-term marriage, only in the other direction. A short-term marriage is usually something that's under uh, five years. So if a couple has only been married for under five years, there's a presumption of no alimony. And these are just presumptions. They can both be overcome because if there's a spouse that you know cannot pay, they have no ability to pay, or let's say both spouses work, then there might not be a need for alimony or an ability to pay one way or the other. Each time a case is presented for alimony in front of a Florida court, that Florida court is gonna go through those set set of factors. Uh, all of those are gonna be taken into account as well as the lifestyle of you know the receiving and the paying spouse when it comes to need and ability to pay when the courts use the term need they don't mean things like you're going to get this or you're going to die they mean like what's the amount of money that would bring that person to a reasonably similar lifestyle that they've had during the intact marriage so for example if you drove a mercedes uh, throughout the entire 17 year marriage well maybe that's part of your need even though a mercedes and you know let's say a honda civic might be a little bit different and both would be maybe get you from point A to point B. In the Alpha Family Law Group, we tend to get a lot of alimony cases. Here in South Florida, there's a lot more traditional marriage, which is something that uh, you know people don't always see and realize. Uh, when I say traditional marriage, I mean usually when one spouse is going to be sit, staying at home with the children while the other spouse is the primary breadwinner or the person going out and doing the work. This is not always the case, but uh, oftentimes it is. And you know, that's not a bad thing. That just means that when that couple decides to split, alimony becomes an issue. We are a smaller firm. Uh, we've got five attorneys here at Yaffa Family Law Group. And some of the advantages of having that smaller firm is that we can give the client more personalized attention. And this again applies to even the high net worth case all the way down to that flat fee consulting case. There's no kind of fly by night, you know, like a uh, you know, legal forms type of thing. This is every person that calls up to Yaffa Family Law Group gets that individualized personal attention. There is a unique thing in the Yaffa Family Law Group that separates us from, let's say, a different law firm. We have a, an in-house seat PA. We do all of our billing down to what's called the lowest biller, and that might seem like it's saying the lowest bidder, uh, but it is not. In fact, we do that to stretch the client's dollar as much as possible. If there's something that I can delegate to my certified public accountant, I will, because when it comes to divorce, there's oftentimes lots and lots of financial background that needs to be kind of dived into or dove into. And for a sole practitioner or a larger firm, oftentimes they don't have those resources available. Here at Yaffa Family Law Group, we do.
During an initial consult, the first question I'm really going to ask you is how long you guys have been married. And this is whether or not it's an alimony case or whether I think it's an alimony case. From that answer, I'll be able to really tell you, yes, this is definitely going to be an alimony case. And then there's usually a follow-up question of how much money do you personally make? If you're going to be the paying spouse, that's absolutely going to be relevant to what you can pay or your ability to pay. And if you are the receiving spouse, it's going to be relevant to what your need is. If you're currently working, but you're the receiving spouse, and let's say there's a gross disparity between your income and the paying spouse, let's say you know more than three or four times more, there's still likely going to be a need or a gap between your salary or your earning ability and his or her earning ability. And that's where we would talk about alimony. And that's all going to occur in that initial consult. I won't get into specific numbers at that time, but we'll say, yes, this is what you might expect or no, where this is not going to be an alimony case. Usually I can tell that during the initial consult.